Welcome back to the Backstage Show here at the 2016 Emmys. I'm joined by two sports guys who are winners. The first sports guys of the night. All right, tell us what your names are and what you won for. Uh, Pat Costell, and we won for Best Sports Feature Segment for a uh, uh, feature at Comcast Sportsnet Chicago that we did about an uh, NIU basketball player. Okay. So. And what's your name? My name is Ryan McGuffey. All right, Ryan. Okay, so tell us uh, what made this such a special feature. Sure. Uh, certainly, it's, it's about a, an IU basketball player who lost um, uh, his brother in a car accident. And uh, he was very close to his brother and still you know, played the season on with, you know, memories of him. And uh, it's a very tough thing to, to lose a family member, but he did it, um, you know, like anybody uh, is incredible how he was able to move yeah. on and uh, always thought of his brother and it was a it was a great story wow so was he were you guys interviewing him during all of this yeah. did it get like emotional it, you know you think of sports and it's more like you know they're excited or they're mad <laughs> this is like a little different emotion yeah we uh we interviewed him at center court of the northern illinois arena lights out uh just us lights on and um you know, he, he opened up, he cried, and I'm crying, asking him questions. It was, I never thought, you know, I'd have a scenario like that, but uh, how could you not? I mean, this guy lost his brother three months prior to us doing this story, and here he is opening up to strangers, quite honestly, about this really, you know, unforgettable experience that for the rest of his life he'll live with. And to get his parents on board, and I have two children, I have no idea how I could ever do that. On camera, in the moment, with that story, um, it was impossible not to, it, I think Pat and I are, are continued um, almost an extension of the family at this point because we continue to talk to them or text them and I think they're always on our minds and we're always on theirs. I mean when we did the story, submitting it for an Emmy, I don't think it was ever why we did the story at all. So. Was it interesting, um, you know, following them and being in their lives? I mean, you normally, what type of sports stories do you normally cover? No, yeah, definitely. We just cover games and highlights for the most part. So this was, uh, it was nice to really follow the story, uh, kind of the behind the scenes of the more of the family aspect of things. And we felt like we were a part of their family after it was all done. It's and weird because you feel like you're intruding in some, you know, there's a fine line between intrusion and like getting the story done the right way. Way. And I, I, I think we did a really good job of, of not intruding and, and being respectful to something that easily could have been taken out of context at any point. Uh, that was definitely the hardest part, I think, for the two of us the whole time is we tackled the story we thought was a, sounded like a great story and then it just was so much deeper and more emotional than I think we ever could have possibly dreamt of. That's amazing, you guys. Congratulations. And thank you for being able to go inside, you know, that family's life and then share it with everyone else because who knows how many people that has touched. You know, not just you, but everyone else. So congratulations. Thank you. Yes, thank you. yes. All right. Well, coming up, we will have more interviews with the winners here at the 2016 Chicago Midwest Emmys. Stay tuned.